Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have Elon Musk's favorite riddle. And once I heard that this was his favorite riddle, I had to make this video. Elon Musk, well, if you're like me, you really like Elon Musk. So the riddle is this. I'm somewhere on Earth. I walk one mile south, one mile west, and one mile north. I am exactly back where I started. Where am I? And there's a hint here. There is more than one spot. So I want to see if you can take a moment here and see if you can come up with the answer for this riddle and find well more than one spot. There's the hint there. So pause this video, see if you can do it. But if you just want to keep on watching and seeing, we're going to dive right in here. So this riddle, we'll start first with the North Pole, actually. And I'm, I'm going to draw a globe here and well, don't judge my spheres. So let's say we have a perfect sphere for a globe for the purposes of this riddle. So we have this here, we got a globe, and I go more or less, we got the little equator here, and we have a spot up north. Well here, that spot up north, the first spot, is the North Pole. Why? Well, let's look at it. If we travel, right, one mile south, we're going down south on the curve, so down south one mile, right here. Then we travel one mile west. Obviously, it's not drawn to scale. And we go one mile back north, we end up right back at the North Pole. So this is the first one that everyone really gets, and it's a pretty easy one to understand. The second part is multiple, actually, answers, and this one's a little tricky. Let's look at the South Pole. And now granted, the way I drew this was kind of difficult, but let's imagine we had an equator, or not equator, a uh, circle, circumference, that was exactly one mile long. So I'm gonna do this in a different color so we can see it here. So granted, this circle is going here, this line that uh, goes across, I should have made it more ovally uh, the other way. But imagine this has a circumference, that circle of one mile. So let's call this C1. And that has a circumference of one mile. Okay. Well, if we pick a spot north of this, that's one mile north, what happens? So if we pick a spot on this circle, or anywhere on it, so let's go from here, right here, that's one mile north. and choose that as our spot. What happens? Well, we start here, we go one mile south, we travel one mile south from the circle here, then we travel one mile west. So we're traveling west, we're going around, but since this circumference is exactly one mile, we come back to our original spot, then we go right back one mile north. And there we have it, this is our second spot. And it's near the South Pole. Okay? So hopefully you understand <laughs> what I'm writing here. Understand that idea. And this actually goes into, well, infinitely many spots. Because in reality, we can pick any spot on this circumference circle that's one mile, and we go one mile north of it, and there's infinitely many spots that this would work. We would go down, south, then we will go west, one mile, make one complete loop, then we'll go back up north. Now, there's even more answers to this problem here. What if our circumference was well one half of a mile? Same idea would apply. So imagine this is just one half of a mile. If we start at a point one mile north of that circumference, all right, being one half mile, we would go down one mile, hit any point on the line, then we would do two laps around, then come back up north. And that also will work. Well, it works for one mile and one half mile of a circumference. What about one over n? So circumference of one over n is a one over n mile. All right, well, where n is a whole number. And that will well, if it's three or five or whatever it is, we go down one mile from there. We have to do n many rotations west. 
which will bring us back to our original spot where we hit the circumference. And then we go back up north to that one spot we had. So in reality, there's the second spot is, well, infinitely many. We have infinitely many right there. And so there we have it. Those are all the possible answers to this riddle. Did you get this riddle? If you did, let me know down in the comment section below, or if you know at least one of the answers here. And this is a riddle that's used sometimes in these job applications to see how the applicant... So let's spread the joys of mathematics. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This... Did you like this video? If you did, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, and share this video. This helps us make more of these fun videos for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.